Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you're returning. Don't forget that y'all can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, or give me an email. And please y'all, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. Let's get right into it today. DIY number one. So I found these at the Dollar Tree the other day and I thought they were so cute. And at first I had one idea, but then when I got them home, I decided on something totally different. So for this one, I'm gonna take four of these and this is going to be a reversible sign for your home, for home decor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna tape around that bottom there. I'm not taping the bottom, I'm taping around the bottom of the house cut out because I'm going to paint the base and I don't really want to get paint on the house. Not that it matters because y'all know me and you know later on I'm going to go in and distress it. But I decided uh, to start off with, I just wanted to tape that up and get that bottom done. So I taped them all four up. I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in ivory and we're going to paint all four of those bases. Now, I don't get a great coverage on it. I do... I mean, I get it all covered, but y'all know I'm going to go back in distress, so I really wasn't too worried about it if some of the wood showed through, but I got a pretty good coat on that. But I just did one coat on each of the bases of this. Now I'm going to go in and we're going to distress it with my Waverly Wax in Antique. I just take my little chippy brush and just go all around it. And I do this on all four of them. All four are going to be exactly the same until we get to later on. I don't know what that footage was that I just showed y'all, but anyway. Now I'm just taking off the tape. And this is where I take my Waverly, or yeah, chalk paint and ivory. And I'm just going to go over the houses, the cutouts there. I don't do anything heavy or anything. I just want it to look worn and weathered a little bit. So I do that to all four of them also. Then I take a little baby wipe with, with some of that Waverly Wax and go around the edges just to help with the distressing a little bit. Now on my Cricut, I printed out H-O-M and E, but I'm not going to use the O because I've got a different idea for that. So I'm just showing you all now. I'm just sticking those down on there. This is for one side of it. But remember, this is a reversible. So I get the H, the M, and the E on there. And I'm going to show y'all a mistake here later, but y'all know me. I like to show you my mistakes because crafting is not perfect by any means. Okay, now we're going on to the other side. Now, this is where I mess up here in a minute because since this is reversible, I was just laying it all out and putting it on whichever one I wanted. But, because I'm going to glue them together, when I turn it, they all have to be a certain way. So, first thing I do is I go ahead and get this other saying on the back. And this is a saying and not just letters, so. But, I, I realize my mistake here. Well, I think I do. Yeah, right here I realize my mistake. That M is in the wrong place. <laughs> but I, so I had to take that M off. I'm just checking my mistake and making sure I did make a mistake. I'm just gonna peel that M off and this wasn't hard to do at all, y'all. I just peeled it off, stuck it on the other one. And I, you really can't even tell, I don't think that I had to rearrange it. So I get that M down. Now I'm going to, oh, this is my O. I'm going to take a wreath, little wreath from the Hobby Lobby that I got, and glue it on there. Then I'm going to take some floral that I got at the Dollar Tree. I'm loving their floral this spring, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I think it's cute as can be. So I just take my floral, and I just glue it all the way around, nothing major. And this is just like a like a little clover or a, a weed probably i don't i don't know what you'd call this floral but i just go all the way around my 
uh, wreath, and if I see somewhere where it's trying to poke up, I just I just cut it off that uh, the pick there, and that's what I'm using to put around it. But if I see something that's trying to poke off, I just go back through and glue it down again. Now I'm going to take my buffalo check ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree. I couldn't believe I found it. They had restocked. And so I got three or four <laughs> spools of this. But I take it make a little shoestring bow. Real simple, real easy. And cut some dovetails on it and glue it on there. Y'all, I love how this project turned out. I know I always say that. But I think it is so, so cute. And to me, it looks high-end, y'all. I mean... I would buy this at a store and I would buy it for a lot more than what it cost me to make because in all reality this probably only cost me about five dollars and fifty cents to make because I already had the vinyl I already had the picks it looks like that might say clover on that pick but I just glue it all together and then I take some big popsicle sticks and I'm gonna glue them on the bottom just to give it a little bit better of a hold I take one full popsicle stick and then I take half of a popsicle stick or not maybe a little more than half I just measure it and cut it down and stick that on there and this is really pretty sturdy so now I'm just gonna take some more of that clover or whatever that floral is and I'm gonna I'm sorry y'all can't see this exactly as i'm doing it but i'm just gluing some of that down to the edge of the end of both ends of the other side not the home side but the other side y'all hear anything in the background it's my dog she's got all the way up into my face right now while i'm sitting here trying to do my voiceover which shouldn't surprise me. She's a baby. She's a little, probably three pound chihuahua. And she's just rotten, y'all. So again, I'm just, I'm just gluing it down. I glue two pieces down to make kind of like a swag. But this is what it looks like. One side says home. When you flip it around, the other side says, this is us, our life, our story, our home. Going right on to DIY number two. Now, full disclosure here, y'all. Y'all know I'm a messy crafter. That shot right there is the neatest you're going to see. And my hands get disgusting because I'm not smart enough to go get a pair of gloves and put them on when I know I'm going to be using a lot of Waverly Wax. But anyway, I get these boxes from the Dollar Tree. I got nine of them. I take out the centers, like the drawer part of them, and I'm going to use E6000 and hot glue, and I'm going to glue three stacks of three. So I'm just gluing them right on top of each other. Now, the, these are not all the same size. We all know how that works at the Dollar Tree. So I'm mainly worried about getting that front edge to be as even as possible. That's the main part that I'm worried about. So I get them all glued on. And again, I do three sets of three, just like that right there. I put me some clamps on there. Now I'm going to take the drawers, the insides of them. I'm going to go to the side. Oh, y'all see my pretty Kiss My Grits cup? I love that cup. I'm going to go to the opposite side of the cutout, and I'm going to glue one of these wood squares that I also get at the Dollar Tree on. These are going to become my handles. If y'all can't tell, I'm making a little storage center. Now this is where, if you're OCD, I so apologize because you're going to hate my hands. But I just go in with my Waverly Wax in Antique and I stain every one of these inside drawers. And I paint it on and then I just take my baby wipe and wipe it off. That was keeping my hands kind of clean. But then I decide, ah, that's too much work. So I decide to just use the baby wipe. And that's when my hands get all nasty. So again, apologies for y'all if you're really OCD about cleanliness because I am a clean person but not when it comes to crafting I'm a mess but I do all parts of this box except I don't worry about the inside I did the inside on one and decided nah that's too much trouble now this is the the three sets of three that we glued together I did do the insides of those now I'm just going around and doing the edge or all the edges 
I guess that's what you call that, is the edges of the box. Yeah, y'all look at those hands. I'm so sorry. Now I'm gonna go through and I am going to do the same thing to all the sides. I didn't worry about the back. I'm just worrying about the sides. All, all four sides of this are gonna get that uh, antique wax. And I love how this looks, y'all. I could have used a stain, and then, Lord, I'd have never got that junk off my hands, probably. But anyway, I just decided, and I do have some stain here, but the smell of it in this hotel room, I just can't handle it. So, I just went with the antique wax. It just, it was so much better for me to not have that smell like. And this is what it looks like when I've got all the stain and done. Now I'm taking some dowel rods from the Dollar Tree. I'm measuring them out and I'm gonna glue them to all four sides. Now, when I do this, I see, you can see, I'm trying to make sure all my drawers are gonna open. I don't do the insides, but I do do the outside of all the, all four edges. If I tried to do the insides, I don't think they would uh, open the drawers. Oh, those hands. I'm so sorry. I'm almost ashamed of myself, y'all. But anyway, I do this to the top, the bottom, and the sides, and then I stain it also with the antique wax. And this works out really good for a little trim, and then all my drawers still open, and so it's perfect. Now I'm going to take four more of those wooden blocks, uh, again from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to put those on the bottom as our feet. I kind of thought about putting like a planter or something under it to make it a little taller, but I, when I tried it, I just liked how these, these, these blocks, bleh, there we go again with my talking, these blocks made it look. And when I get those all on there, I go ahead and stain those up too. There I go. Oh, those hands. It's killing me, y'all. Now, I found these windows. I guess that's what they are. At the Dollar Tree. And I love them. Tried to go in with the antique wax and just, like, stain them. But that did not work out very well. So, I just went in with my truffle Waverly chalk paint. The stain just wouldn't stay on it. Even, uh, it just wouldn't. So, I went in and stained all, or painted all that up. Now, I'm going to glue it to my box, the back of my boxes. I'm just trying to get my placement here, and I mark where I'm going to glue it. And then I just put hot glue on that window. Is that a window? That's what I'm calling it. And put it on there. That's what it looks like with the window on it. Now I've decided I want a little bit more, so I'm going to distress the window, and I just stress. I don't, I'm sorry about this angle, y'all. Uh, y'all know I just, I'm, well, y'all know I use my chippy brush. I'm just using, I believe it's ivory that I'm using. It might be white. And I just go all through it and distress it. Not a real heavy distress. It's a little heavier on the window than it is on the actual boxes. But I just, I wanted that weathered look. Y'all know me. I, everything, about everything I do is distressed. So, this mama's distressed. Huh, not really, but, you know. Y'all that craft with kids at home, I don't know how you do it. And I salute each and every one of you. Because I'm alone in a hotel all day except for my dog. And sometimes she wants my attention fully. But I, I can't imagine doing it with kids. So now I'm taking some of that. Y'all are superheroes that do that. It's that green heavy floral wire from the Dollar Tree. And some picks. And I've just cut some greenery off and all that. And I'm just kind of laying it a on the bottom a little bit of that. I made it into a circle, the the wire, and now I'm just kind of making it a little wreath to go on my window there because I thought it just needed a little bit more. Then I'm going to wrap that center right there with twine because I didn't like the wet, because you could see where they were all just basically glued together. One of my little pieces come out, so I just glue that right back in there. And again, I'm just going to wrap that around there. I'll be so glad when we get on the next DIY so y'all don't have to see those hands. I apologize. I'm just going to glue it back down there. Just straightening it all out. 
fluffing it out a little bit. Now we're just gonna make another little shoestring bow out of the twine, glue it right in the middle. And then I take a little flyer, I think this is actually a weed, whatever it is, and just glue it right in the middle just so you, I don't know why I did that, but I thought it was cute. Take some more jute and I'm making a little hanger for our wreath. Well, that's me gluing the flyer again, y'all. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just sticking it on there. I just glue it right to it. I take that twine through one of those little holes in the window. First, I glue it together. And then I glue it to the back of the window and it's just like hanging there. Super easy, super messy for me anyway. And this is how it turned out. And y'all, I love it. I think it is absolutely adorable. Not real fancy, but you know, I'm not real fancy, so I love it. Again, if you all like farmhouse DIYs on a budget, don't forget to, blah, 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 blah. there we go again, to subscribe to my channel. Comment and like my videos, y'all. It helps me out with YouTube. DIY number three in our final DIY today. Okay, y'all, I love to make farmhouse signs because they're so expensive. And I just like to show y'all that you can have the really pretty expensive looking signs and they don't cost very much. So I just took this tag from the Dollar Tree. It's an Easter tag. And I'm using this color mineral from Waverly Chalk Paint. I have fallen in love with this color. It is gorgeous. And I just do a rough little coat on there. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty full coverage, but again, not worried about if anything is showing through or anything like that. And now I'm gonna take my ivory and I'm gonna go around the edges to kind of distress it a little bit. I love how this turns out too, it's so cute and simple. So we're just gonna go all the way around the edges. And then I went to the Dollar General and I finally found these signs. Uh, and I got these. Now, I'm not gonna use the full sign. I'm only gonna use the animals off of them. So I take and I'm trying to pry them off and y'all had to go get a knife out of the kitchen because I could not get these staples out. Now, I'm only gonna use animals on this DIY, but I'm gonna save these little frames because they're cute and I'm sure I'll figure something out. Y'all, if you can find something better than a knife to use, use it. But I just had to go with what I had handy. And I couldn't get anything underneath them dang staples. So I go through and I take them all off. Now I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna stack them on my sign. I could have done this with vinyl, but I was trying to show y'all another alternative to like the Cricut and stuff, cause I know a lot of y'all don't have them. So I'm just gonna glue them on, one right on top of the other. They say cluck, oink, and moo. Chicken, pig, cow. And then I'm gonna take these stickers that I found from the Dollar General. Oh, I love them. They are so cute and I love the font. It's called Handwritten. And I think these were a dollar or a dollar fifty for a pack. And they have quite a few. I think they have two of each letter and some letters even have three. And I'm gonna I like them because they're clear the backing's clear so there's no kind of color except the black and when I go through and distress this you can't even tell that they're stickers so at the top I put farm at the bottom of them uh, uh, there we go again at the bottom I'm gonna put fresh can't get my words out today I mean I'm I don't know why I'm surprised at that I <laughs> can never get my words out right when I'm doing a voiceover and these stickers, if you don't get them exactly where you want them, they're easy to pull right back up, put right back down. So don't worry about that a bit. And y'all know me, I usually don't measure nothing. So if it's a little off, it's a little off. Now I'm just taking my chibi brush and the remaining paint that's on that, that's on it uh, from the ivory where I distressed earlier and I'm just gonna go through and distress it. Now I'm gonna take some 
uh, jute and some farmhouse beads. I think I put eight beads on here. I'm gonna run it through the center there in the hole. Just kind of trying to find my placement there. Now I'm gonna make an expo with these cute little burlap ribbons that I found at Walmart. I just put it all in an X. I learned this. I see so many YouTubers do this and this is about the best bow I can make. Uh, I just put it all in an X, cinch it in the middle and then tie it up with some jute. I'm gonna dovetail my ribbons. I should have done this before I knocked my sign plum off my table there. I should have done this before I even started making the bow, but I never think about it until it's already made or I've already got it on something and then I think about it. Now I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna take that leftover jute and I'm going to tie it to the string of beads. Cut off that jute. Just try to fluff it up a little bit, y'all. Then I make another little simple shoestring bow. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm, I lied. I wrapped this around my hand about 10 or 15 times and then just cinched it in the middle and tied it off with jute just to make it a little bigger looking of a bow. I'm sorry about my phone in the on the side there, y'all. I forgot all about it being there. And I just glue that right, on the right in the middle of that bow. And that's it. Y'all... This was the easiest thing, and I think it turned out adorable. And that color is just to die for, y'all. That mineral is one of my favorites now. This is what it turned out like. You know, these are my projects. I'm not claiming to be anything that I'm not. I'm just a crafter, someone who loves to do all this. And y'all make it possible for me to do this by watching my channel. I really, truly appreciate each and every one of you. Again, farmhouse decor on a budget. That's what I'm trying to put out there. You want your home to be beautiful, but y'all, this stuff is expensive. So, I mean, taking Dollar Tree materials and making it into something nice for your home is easier than what you think it is. And thank you to all the YouTubers out there who brought these, bring these things out. You know, that's why I got started. I see so many of them doing it and I thought, I'm going to try this, and they've been so supportive, and I'm so thankful for so many of them. Again, if y'all like this channel, like these kind of videos, these kind of projects, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart. Y'all are amazing. Don't forget, y'all come back now. You hear?